सो हाई डेयर स्कॉर्पियो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टैरो एंड दिस इज अ जर्नल ऑफ रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द स्कॉर्पियो सन मून विनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जर्नल इट माइट और माइट नॉट रेजोनेट विद यूर द फर्स्ट प्लेस सेकेंड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम ट्वेल्थ इल द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ डिसम्बर एंड दिस इज फॉर दोज हुर कम्प्लीटली सिंगल राइट नाउ एट दिस प्रेजेंट मोमेंट एंड uh yeah we are good to go i'll tell you guys i'll see you who's coming towards you in love till the 20 21st of december and if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box it's in english it's from basics to intermediate level and then if you want to start your self love journey and don't know from where to start i have created a workbook and ebook for the same it's super cheap and it's loaded with a lot of information so you can buy it and start your journey so let's start scorpio your current energy is right now at this present moment we have the queen of wands the eight of cups and the world card mhm mm scorpio it's like you are trying to walk away and you are trying to put an end to something that you are very 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 attached to it could be a person it could be a situation it could be an idea it could be something that you feel like it should be like this uh, or if it is not like this then goodbye mm -hmm. or there is something around you or someone around you that no matter how hard you are trying to detach from that particular person or energy you are not able to do that and you are dying to walk away from this you are just try, trying to get rid of it forcibly it's like i have to get rid of this because this is this is shitty this is something that i don't want to deal with although i am very much attached very much attracted very much into this situation but i must say goodbye i don't know for what reason you are trying to leave something or someone behind that you are very much attached to very much attracted to in fact it's something that that you are very passionate about in your life but you are making me feel like okay uh, anjali i know this is something very important for me or this is something that i am very attached to but i need to let it go because of i don't know for what reason you are not telling me you got the clarity that you need to leave something or someone behind in order to achieve something in your life Okay, got it. Let's see who's coming towards you in love till the twenty-first of December, Scorpio. <coughs> We have the Hermit, the Three of Cups, the Five of Wands. Okay, this is someone who is not talking to you, and they are going to connect with you. They are going to fight with you because they want to be with you. Now. this is obviously someone known to you but this is someone who is having like a, who is giving you a very hard time to open up uh, to you or connect with you or have have like proper communications with you they are giving you a very hard time in communicating with you properly and opening up with you properly it's like this is someone out of the blue they are going to like uh, connect with you and they are going to create some kind of chaos or conflict or drama or they are going to fight with you for some reason and then they are wishing and hoping for this kind of energy of okay after this fight after this reaction that i'm going to get from scorpio might be we have a chance to get back together so aries leo sagittarius cancer pisces scorpio or a virgo that you might be dealing with that's coming your way so it's somebody known who is coming your way because they can't let you go you are trying to let go and detach but they can't do it so they are coming back and creating drama creating chaos creating some kind of issues and trying to make this work out forcibly Let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation, Scorpio. We have the Ten of Wands, the Judgment, and the Three of Wands. The guidance here is drop the situation, drop the stressful kind of energy. If you want to give something or someone a second chance, it should be from all of your heart and soul. It should it should not be a uh, half-hearted kind of attempt of like, yeah, I'm giving it, I'm doing it. yeah it will happen might be i'm not sure if this kind of energy is coming towards you regarding a situation or like regarding giving a second chance to a particular person or situation or a collaboration or partnership or whatever it is then i think you should not proceed further you should definitely forgive and definitely forget everything whatever happened in the past you have to drop the past baggages and then move forward only then only it will be it will become a successful kind of energy so you are taking it as like yeah anyway it is not going to work out anyway it's going to be a disaster anyway this is something that's a bullshit and dramatical kind of a situation anyway it's something that i'm i don't even care about but you do that is why you are giving them another chance and second thing you are trying your best to detach but you are not able to detach it means there's something still left in the situation that you guys need to resolve that you guys need to 
uh, 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 like understand that you guys need to face in order to release it properly or be in this properly yep this is what i'm getting for you guys honey for this time hope it helps you so thank you so much for tuning in uh, scorpio i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste